Keep an eye on everyone for my naughty and nice right. list each year. Do I have time to fix up that list? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll make a special allowance for you. In fact, I'll give everyone here the same deal tonight. A clean slate. Because I will go home and I will rip up the naughty list when I get back to the North Pole. Just make sure you're as good as possible from here on out till December 23rd. For Sorry? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're two days early. We don't mind you two days early, Santa. Oh, uh, the elves don't mind it. Well, actually they do. I'm telling a lie. Now, Father Christmas, why wait until you get home to the North Pole? Why don't you just send the elves an email on your smartphone so they can rip it up? <laughs> <laughs> Particular, particularly eager to get on the nice list, aren't you, Ian? Oh, yes, I certainly am pleased to get on the nice list. Well, I would, however, I don't use such high-tech devices. I prefer good old Christmas magic. Does anyone here want to see how I receive emails without any form of computing device? Well then, Tall Ted, Christmas out. Please bring upon my email box. An email box? Tall Ted and an elf. <laughs> Gee whiz, what's happening around here, Father Christmas? Well, Ian, this, this device here is my email box. It allows me to receive emails no matter where I am for Christmas cheer. <laughs> An email box? That sounds like a computer to me. Well, to each his own. Does anyone want me to read one out? 
Well, this this will be the first email that's ever come out of Carol's, uh, uh, Danny and Carol's Father Christmas. Oh, well, we're making history tonight, folks. All right, can I get a drum roll, please? Welcome, Tall Ted, and welcome, Christmas Elf. The first email ever to be read out to Danden on Carols by Candlelight is... You net card. Spam. <laughs> A spam. <laughs> oh, I'll forward it on to you. Thanks very much. I, I might have just gave this for Christmas lunch, I think. Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> hang on. There's another one here. Oh yes, here we go, this is more like it. <coughs> it is... If I can just get it open. Can you open this for me, Tall Ted? My, my, my old age hasn't really helped me with the, the cards. Can you get it? I don't think I can get it. Oh, maybe Rebecca can get it. <laughs> Well done, Rebecca. Well done. <coughs> Dear Santa, oh, that's me. Some of my friends don't think you are real, and I'm starting to think that they are right. Oh dear, that's not very good, is it? For instance, I find it impossible that a bunch of reindeer can lift a heavy sleigh full of toys and you on Christmas night when they help deliver toys. Your sleigh, toys, and you would have to defy gravity and to be as light as a feather for this to work. And reindeer are not that strong. Could you please tell me how this feat is achieved each year? <clears throat> Your good little friend, Johnny, from Dandenong North. P.S. I like Lego, mice, and sea monkeys. Hint, hint. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Now that is a message. That's a good message, sir. Mm, indeed. Would you like my res Well, first off, to little Johnny's first question. I believe I'm real. Do you believe I'm real? Well, that's good. I'm, I'm standing right here, so I hope I'm real. And as for Johnny's second question, well, I just use Christmas magic to achieve this feat each year. Would, uh, would you like to see a demonstration? Okay. I think I'll need a volunteer. That looks like Rebecca, Father Christmas. Well, I guess it's Rebecca. Tall Ted, or actually, Elf, sorry. Please remove my email box. For Rebecca, we'll need somewhere to sit. Well, I won't take that. Please sit, sit. That's good. Now, oh dear, someone tied this on Santa. They're on the naughty list for sure. <laughs> Hang on, I got Christmas magic in here. It's very fiddly. Do you want to open this for me, Rebecca? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh -huh. Sprinkle a bit of Christmas cheer and magic all over Rebecca and ta-da! She is now floating just like my sleigh does each year. <laughs> I don't think so, Father Christmas. I think she's just sitting on a table. A table, you say? Well then, how about you remove this support? Are you sure, Father Christmas? Would I lie to you? What? The cat? The candy canes? Well, I can't have kids not believe in Christmas magic, can I? Tall Ted, can you please remove them? Yeah. Are you sure, Father Christmas? Christmas magic never lies. You better be ready to catch the Father Christmas. I'm ready. Come back, King. Oh, candy canes! 
And the other one, Tall Ted. I sure am. Here, Tall Ted. Please use this magical reach and prove that she is indeed floating. to see some real magic, then let's give it up for everyone singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. On a one, two, a one, two, three, four. Christmas and thank you to all Ted and the Christmas Elf. You're most welcome. Ho, 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 ho. Anyway, it's late and I must be getting back to work. You certainly should, Father Christmas. We need those presents. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for having me and I shall see you all on December 25th. But remember to be good. I'm watching. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Father Christmas. Dana will take that. Dana will take that. Okay. Thank you. Big cheer for Father Christmas, Thank kids. You, Santa. Big cheer for Santa, kids. We didn't have Santa entertaining us right here. Oh, we've got to have Santa here. Santa, Santa, I think it's Santa's just so important having her. I think we'll make the kids' night tonight. Did you enjoy Santa? Oh,